In this video, we're talking about the Santan Justice Court. The Santan Justice Court, it's a big court in Arizona. It's a misdemeanor court in Maricopa County. It covers the southeast portion of the corner of Maricopa County. And today we're gonna to talk a little bit more about the court's jurisdiction. We'll tell you about the prosecuting agency who's in charge of prosecuting the cases there. We'll tell you a little bit about the judge, Judge Goodman. So let's take a look at the jurisdiction first of all. Jurisdiction, when we're talking about a case like a court like this, is the geographic area that the court governs. What authority in what area does the court have? And the jurisdiction looks like this. So you can see here I have the border of the court's, uh, the court's jurisdiction outlined in yellow, and I have a major two freeways running through the court. I have the 202 loop and the US 60. You can see there, those are big, there's an interchange right there and those are big freeways. If you're from Phoenix or you're from this part of town in the valley, you'll know that a lot of people are traveling through here. If you're going eastbound, you're going out to Apache Junction, going westbound, you're heading back into downtown Phoenix. So there's a lot of volume here. A lot of people are passing through this area and this area is patrolled predominantly by the Department of Public Safety and by the Maricopa County Sheriff's Office officers. And so they are the ones who are responsible for pulling you over, citing you with different crimes. And the ones that we see predominantly are going to be these here, criminal speeding. We've got uh, other DUI charges or big ones as people are traveling. There's a lot of things to do out in this area. Then we see other traffic related offenses so civil tickets, but also we'll see reckless drivings, exhibition of speed racing. We'll see some driving on suspended license charges as well. Sometimes some commercial trucking violations. Most of them are traffic related because DPS and MCSO, they are patrolling on those major freeways. The prosecutors, the prosecuting agency that's in charge of this court is going to be the Maricopa County Attorney's Office. They are the big agency that's responsible for handling all of the misdemeanors in this justice court and all of the other justice courts throughout Maricopa County. They also handle the felonies, but those take place in a superior court. If you're charged with a misdemeanor or if you're charged out of the Santan court, it's going to be a misdemeanor. Felonies would be in a different court. So sometimes people will say, well, I was charged with a super extreme DUI. Doesn't that mean it's a felony? No, it doesn't. If you're in the Santan court, it's going to be a misdemeanor. The prosecuting agency, MCAO, Maricopa County Attorney's Office, they tend to be a policy-based prosecuting agency, meaning they have strict policies that they follow. The prosecutors who are going to be in this court have usually very little discretion. They don't have a lot of authority to make different, uh, different uh, plea offers or make different deviations down. They follow a policy. They look at you, they look at your charge, they look at your background, and they basically pick a chart and they move over and they say, that's where you are, that's where you fall, that's what the plea offer will be. And the reason why this is important to know is because a lot of the times people will think that their criminal speeding ticket or their suspended license case or whatever is relatively minor and they should be able to go into court and take care of it on their own. The reality is you're dealing with a policy-based prosecuting office. They do not deviate from those policies unless you have a good legal reason to do so. So it's important you know that going in, we don't want you to waste your time or do actual damage to your case by going in there and trying to resolve it on your own without knowing what you're getting into. So that's how MCAO works. Some attorneys or some prosecutors watching this video may have a different opinion on it. That's just our experience. Let's take a look at the judge. So Judge Goodman has been a judge out of the Santan court for a very, very long time. He's not a licensed lawyer in Arizona. This is sometimes shocking to people that a justice, a judge, can be somebody without a law degree or somebody who has not taken and passed the bar in Arizona, gone through character and fitness and become a licensed lawyer. All they have to do is run and get elected. If they get enough votes, boom, they get into office. Judge Goodman was elected in 2004 and has been the judge ever since. He was reelected in 2016. Wasn't even a contested uh, election. He ran completely unopposed and got elected again. There's not a lot of information about Judge Goodman uh, on the internet for some reason, uh, but in our experience, we've noticed a couple different things. Number one, he uses, or he prefers ASU over to U of A. So if you're gonna be in there with any U of A gear on, leave that at home. You're not gonna wanna bring that into court. Shouldn't it anyways, you should be dressed appropriately in court, but specifically leave the U of A stuff out. Judge Goodman, in our opinion also, is very, very prosecution friendly, meaning he favors the government a lot more than the person who's being accused of a crime. Tends to favor the prosecution almost throughout the board. He just, it's constantly sort of him leaning towards the state, siding with the state. The prosecutors out of this court know that. They know that this judge will lean in their favor. And so their policies and their prosecution can be a little bit more harsh because, harsh because they know that they're gonna be getting away with some of this stuff. Uh, he, he is very kind of entrenched in his positions. 
he's been a judge for so long and he hasn't had a real threat to him being reelected that he can take his strong positions and not really waver a whole lot on them. We'll find that some other judges in other courts are very sort of thoughtful, they're very pensive about legal arguments that come in front of them. They'll give it some thought, they'll give it some research, they'll say, I can't make a decision today, come back in 10 days, I'll have a ruling for you because they wanna go and research it and really look at it a little bit more closely. This particular judge just doesn't do that. He's very entrenched in his positions. He's not really inclined to be thoughtful or really work through some of the legal issues. You can make all the arguments you want. He's gonna be pretty uh, confident in his position. He'll take a look at it and say, okay, well, that's this is how I do it. That's Why do you do it that way, judge? This is how I do it, and that's it. Boom, next case, move on to the next one. Which can be very frustrating for a defense attorney and for a defendant when you typically have good arguments to make, you wanna be sure you're at least heard on those, and so it can be a little bit frustrating to go into this particular court because you don't feel heard, you don't even feel like the judge is even thinking about it. It's kind of in one ear and out the other, then it goes right back to whatever the prosecutor wants. So that's something that can be problematic. There is a rule in Arizona, it's called notice for a change of judge. That means that you can file a notice, it's called a notice for a change of judge, file a motion, there are certain rules you have to follow. You can't file it willy-nilly. You can't file it whenever you want. You can't file it uh, according to certain exceptions or certain rules where you can't file it. You can't do it in a certain manner, but you do have a right to change your judge. This may be one of those courts where you want to do that. Of course, you're certainly going to want to consult with a defense attorney before you make a decision like that. Sometimes it's not to your benefit. Sometimes it's clearly to your benefit. There are some justice courts where I would absolutely advise you not to do it. This is not one of them. You may want to consider it. Notice for a change of judge if you want to look that up. Have another video on that one. I'm in a judge's uh, robe and wig. So you can look that up if you're interested in it. If you or somebody that you know or love has been charged with a crime at a Santan Justice Court, give our office a call. You can see here we have a lot of experience out of this court, uh, along with all the other justice courts in Arizona. We'd be happy to sit down with you, talk through your case, talk through your situation. Make sure you understand how the charges will work out of this particular court. Make sure you have a good plan for moving forward. So as I said, free case evaluations, no reason not to call. Give us a call soon. We look forward to talking with you. Thanks for watching.